Hi everyone, happy Station 19 in Grey's Anatomy Day. Um, I am going to bring on a special guest. I'll just give her a couple minutes to come on. I probably just spilled the beans. <laughs> How's everyone doing? Are you guys excited for tonight of both episodes? They're both going to be absolutely amazing. Oh. Oh, no, no, that's not what I meant to do. <laughs> I don't go on uh, live as much, and I have forgotten how to do this. Here we go. Okay. I think, I think I've got this right. <gasps> Hi, Bella. <laughs> how are you, Bella? I'm good. You look so rested. <laughs> I am. I have been sleeping like uh, for real now. It's been so good. How are you? You look beautiful. It's morning, wherever you are. It's morning and my house is freezing, so I thought I'd put on my my heart robe. <laughs> look cozy and ready for cuddle. <laughs> and for those of us that don't know, we just finished wrapping, like, like what, two and a half weeks ago? Yeah. Yeah, two and so, a half weeks. Exactly. Yeah. So we, so we finally got some sleep. <laughs> and the last week was a lot for everyone. Was. So everybody, the whole cast, late nights, the whole thing. Um, exactly. Are you excited for tonight's episode? Have you seen it? I am very excited. Not in the U.S. No, I haven't seen it, and I'm not in the U.S., so I was trying to figure out how to watch it, and I figured out how to watch it, so I'll probably live tweet as well, and if yes. I can get to watch it in real time. So yeah, I'm very excited. That was one of my favorite episodes of the whole season. How about you? I mean, to shoot it, yes. I'm always nervous to watch it, though. Like, obviously, when we shoot it, I had a blast. And it was so challenging in a lot of ways that people will see. But also, too, you just, I mean, I'm sure it's going to be amazing. Peter did such a great job directing it. But I'm just, like, so nervous. Yeah, very nervous. You ever... Also, whatever you feel when you're shooting doesn't really match what you see then as a final result. So it's always nerve-wracking. Yes, Definitely. always. And then, of course, you know how it is as actors. We pick ourselves apart at first. Are we doing the hair thing right now? Yes. Are we both obsessed about how our hair looks and are never happy? Yeah, I also came back from the beach, so it's crazy. It's beautiful, as always. Um, you know also that these Instagram takeos or takeovers are so nerve-wracking as well. I never know what to do or what to say or what to post, so... <laughs> I was like, I'm just oh, going I live know. with a bunch of people. Raffle. I saw you doing a raffle. You were doing all the things. You were doing so much fun stuff. I'm trying. I'm trying. I was like, I've got to do something. I didn't know because every other time we've done so many other things where I've been like, okay, flashbacks or like compilations of videos. And I'm like, I've run out of things to do. I don't know. Yeah. Also, some, most of the times we are on set when we have to take over. So we have all the other cast members to bother when we are on set. And this time you're not. We are all, all like sparkled all over the place. All over the world. I'm sitting at home with my robe. Yep. It's that whole <laughs> situation. Um, do you, would you be open to playing a little game of like, would you rather? Or no, like, to you. Of what? I would never say, I can't say no to you. Let's do it. <laughs> okay. I have some questions. I figured they'd be fun to ask and see what your answers are. Okay. okay are you ready? Yeah. I think so. <laughs> On a first date, would you rather get dressed up and go out to a nice dinner or meet for casual drinks at a coffee shop? Casual. Always casual drinks and at yeah. a coffee shop. I can see that. Yeah. Would you rather? I wanna... My answer is two. What? Yeah. You know, I would love to get dressed up. I know I do. You know you do. <laughs> it's like I, I never get to do it very often. So then when I get the opportunity, I'm like, oh, I'm getting decked out. But then you get so nervous. It's so much It's so much more chill and you don't have to do that. Yeah, definitely. That, I would never go for a hike. I don't understand people that go for a hike on the first day because I'm like, you're going to be sweaty and gross. I don't want to go up and sweat on my first date. I Maybe they're trying to like gauge if the person's like adventurous or something. Yeah, you can ask them. <laughs> but you know how people lie. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> okay, ready for the second one? Yeah. Okay. Would you rather cook for your date or have your date cook for you? 
cook for me, a hundred percent. Really, you're such a good cook, though. I just don't like it. It's not. I, I like washing the dishes after they cook for me. Okay, you don't hear many people say they like washing the dishes. <laughs> <laughs> now I feel bad every time you've ever cooked for me. I feel horrible. Like you absolutely oh. didn't want to do it. <laughs> oh, I, I do. I don't like doing it just for myself, and I don't think. I feel like my mom was such an incredible cook that I don't have, I lack the confidence. And I, she was also kind of an artist in her cooking style. She like uh, experimented a lot. I have to follow, I do a few things very well and that's it. So I'm not very creative in my cooking. Well, no, I, the ones that you do well are, I check off, amazing. <laughs> what about you? Uh, I guess, can we cook together? I know that's not an option. Yeah. But I feel like I love doing like the whole let's learn like a recipe together. Like cook, I love cooking. Like a, a first date for me would be like a cooking class or something. Because <laughs> I'm a nerd like that. You're a little bit of a nerd. I love it. <laughs> Anyone that doesn't know that now they do. Uh, <laughs> would you rather get away with your boo for a warm weekend by the beach or spend the weekend together at a snowy ski chalet? Not even questioning it beach always never gone for a mountain holiday I do it. you even like the snow no why <laughs> do I cold my nose is dripping my fingers are frozen no i'm like this is not a holiday this is not enjoyable i don't get it when people go oh my god we're going on a holiday in the mountains like yeah have fun see you later see you when you come back <laughs> and i love the snow there's so many differences yeah. it's crazy you know, I'm like, every time I say I'm going to go to the beach, I don't go to the beach. And I live in California. It's a, it's so so ridiculous. Um, yeah. Would you rather go in for the first kiss or have your crush make the first move? I love that you're thinking <laughs> of all your kisses that you've ever had. <laughs> I can see it in your head. I think it, I, I think I'm a little old school like that. I like to be the receiver. Yep. Same. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Nice. It's like that old school traditional, like, come on. Hey, well, court me a little. Yep. Court. Yeah. Um, would you rather date a spontaneous thrill seeker or someone who is laid back and tame? I already know your answer. Laid back wins. <laughs> yeah. I think I'm a little, I have a neurosis, hints of neurosis sometimes. So I feel like a laid back person is good, matches me. Good back. Like, laid back. What about you? I would go for the spontaneous thrill seeker, but I should also go with the laid back and tame person because me and you are both spazzes. I mean, yeah. just be blunt. We're like 100 miles an hour all over the place. Smiling and laughing constantly. We're a lot of people in person. <laughs> laughing and crying nonstop. Yeah. Like. <laughs> Absolutely. But, you know, it keeps it exciting. Yeah. So what I would go for and what I actually want are two different things. Um, or what I actually need, I mean. Would you rather forget your date? Oh, this one's funny. Would you rather forget your date's name one hour into a dinner date or accidentally call them by your mom or dad's name? Oh, forget, 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 forget. <laughs> Done. Eat. What, what? Have you actually, like, forgotten, even the person you're dating's name, have you forgot their name before or called them by the wrong name? Probably, but not usually before the first date happens. I kind of already have to like that person a lot. So I think the name is already very well ingrained in my brain but there are like uh, my mom used to call me every uh, my sister my brother my nieces all the names before she even got to mine so i think that happens naturally that is funny how parents do that my mom does the same she has five sisters she calls me every sister's name before she calls me my name <laughs> no i'm not that i'm danielle i'm your yeah daughter. yeah me remember you give birth to me yeah, they're like, oh, I try to forget it. <laughs> I'm like, thanks, mom. <laughs> yeah. Um, let's see. Would you rather write a love letter or receive a love letter? Oh, this is beautiful. Both. Can I do both? Yeah. I mean, yeah. eventually, I would hope at some point you do do both. Because <laughs> if you receive one, you write one back. 
Yeah, if you write one and you didn't get one back, it sucks. If you yeah. write one back, it sucks too. So both, both. Yeah, that's a good answer. I would agree with that. Would you rather find out someone you really like hates dogs or find out they cheated on their most recent ex? Cheated? You would oh. rather find out that than over hates dogs? Yeah, how can you hate dogs? Jeff, Jeff is an amazing child. Agreed. I don't understand. I feel like that's a, this is a hard question in general because I don't want to hear either. I guess I don't want to hear exactly. Screw the person. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, you're like, no, I don't like them anymore. It's over. <laughs> exactly. Um, would you rather fall in love with someone who's allergic to all of your favorite foods or fall in love with someone who makes embarrassing dad jokes at every restaurant? I know all your answers to all these questions before I'm even asking them, I feel like. I think yours is dad jokes. And mine is, um, what was the other one? If allergic to all my food. Yeah. yeah. You're okay with that. You'd rather fall on someone that's allergic yeah. to all your favorite foods. Yeah, the bad jokes. Okay. <laughs> I love that the dad jokes are so bad that you're willing to go for someone that's allergic to like pizza. Dad jokes, it, it, sex appeal cannot live under the same roof. <laughs> I don't think that. So, just for the record, <laughs> Stefania does not like dad jokes. Do not ask or give her a dad joke ever. At this point, I would like everyone to send Stefania dad jokes just because I would give her a slip up is fine. Do a slip up is fine, but all the time, that's the sense of humor. I can't. I can't. Uh, I love dad jokes. <laughs> so funny. Because <laughs> they're always so stupid, but smart. Like, it's always, like, a twist on words or something. I'm like, oh, that's cute. <laughs> Give us some dad jokes, everyone, in the comments. Um, I think last, last question. Would you rather fall in love at first sight or fall in love with your childhood best friend? First sight. What about you? Yeah. Fall yeah. in love at first sight. Romance. Romantic. The romance. Too. Yes. Which is always sometimes you're like, oh, why am I such a romantic? Just get yourself in trouble. I know, definitely, definitely. But it's good. It's worth it, always. Someone said, can monsters do math? Or Alexis underscore Oler said, can monsters do math only if you count Dracula? <laughs> I think that is hilarious. I can't believe, see, you're laughing. You think it's funny, but I get what you're saying. If it was like all the time. Why do you like it? That's what I'm laughing at. <laughs> that I like it so much. <laughs> uh, oh my God, someone said, want to hear a construction joke? I'm still working on it. No. Like construction, no. like I <laughs> Okay, if I keep reading this, this is going to become an entire live of just reading <laughs> hilarious dad jokes, but I love these. Um, so that was all the questions I had for you. I'll let you go back to your amazing vacation wherever you are in the world. Enjoy the beach. Um, you look gorgeous as always. And I will obviously talk to you tonight when we watch the show. Yes, exactly. We will live tweet together. Will you yeah, be able to get to watch it live, like you said? Yeah, with the okay. East Coast. Okay, perfect. Perfect. Okay, so we'll text because I'm nervous. I might have to see you again later. I know. <laughs> Well, enjoy the rest of your vacation. I'll talk to you later tonight. Thank you. Big hug. Ciao, Bella. Bye. Bye. Ciao. Ciao.